Good morning, how are we doing? It's Saturday. We're all home. As you can probably tell, I've had an amazing sleep. Uh, although I did get woken up by four phone calls this morning from different people being like, how was your holiday? And I was like, yep, still quite tired. But no, we're all refreshed and we're going off to Community Festival because one of my favourite bands, Pale Waves, is playing and Two Door Cinema Club is also playing. Nothing But Thieves are playing. Um, I'm really excited about this. I booked tickets ages ago. I did book tickets when I was slightly drunk. So I completely forgot about it until 2000 Trees and someone went, aren't you coming to Community? I was like, yeah, I am actually. But it's the right hot temperature of 25 degrees with highs of 28. As you can clearly tell, I have sun creamed up because today is going to be a scorcher. By the way, our curtains are all shut because of the cats. They're too hot. But also something else that they've put up online is the fact that you can take reusable water bottles uh, to the venue and go in absolutely fine. I think they were only like, if the... Uh, reusable water bottle is open then you can't bring it in like if it's a just a normal water bottle and it's been opened already you can't bring it in but if you've got it in like a tin or something like that then obviously you can bring it in i realized that i didn't um <laughs> oh my god oh my god i put sun cream on the floor my shoes okay that is far too slippery I just sprayed sun cream on the floor. Well, I didn't spray it on the floor, I sprayed it on my legs. I need to wash that up. But let's go to community first. We've got up to Finsbury Park, my old stomping ground. I literally used to work up this street. But I've just got off at the train station. And I know that they've had a massive refurb in uh, Finsbury Park uh, tube station. But I genuinely could not tell you where I was. I just had to like walk about and be like, right, I, uh, I have no idea. Turns out, that's where I used to work. That tube stop down there used to be open and, and it shut for like three years, I think. And now I'm back. This is the first time I've been back since I worked here. Mental, I wonder if anyone's still working here. Who knows? I just went in there see how it was it doesn't look anything like it used to they've added like a pizza oven they've like redone the whole bar it looks amazing whether i had the nicest time there who knows that is amazing what they've done with that and i'm really happy that their pizza um i guess it's now a business because it's big enough um yeah as i was about to leave they started introducing pizzas into the menu and that just became a different dynamic like before it was kind of meat boards, meze boards, and then now it's pizzas. But unfortunately I didn't know anyone in there so I couldn't stay and chat. Also I'm meeting the others at like half past one. I think it's like 25 past one now. And I'm looking for this pub which I guarantee we're not gonna get into because Finsbury Park is the busiest I think I've ever seen it. I've never been up here for a, uh, a gig, but this is kind of hell already. And also this weather does not help at all. We were in that pub for I think about two hours and I have definitely sweated off all of my sun cream. So I think I'm gonna go and buy some more from Sainsbury's because they're allowing reusable water bottles, as I said. But <laughs> we were in there and this guy next to us was like, oh, do you guys want a bit of bread? And we were like, what? Why would we want a bit of bread? Uh, it turned out he had a whole bottle of gin inside his baguette. Clever thinking. See, we are in, but I am only here for Pale Waves. 
I'm really excited about pair waves. Um, we've got an Alec here as well. We've also got a Tom in the background. I could have worn my pair waves t-shirt today. God damn it. God damn it. I should. Are you going to get in my vlog? Yeah. Vlog Josh. Josh vlog. What am I to do? to like him if I listen to him on Spotify now. KT said, listen to him on Spotify and maybe I'll like him a little bit more, a tiny bit. We have just replenished the Pepsi Max because that is the best stall, isn't it, Alec? Best there. Uh, yeah. Pepsi Max <laughs> for the win. I'm my best in your vlogging, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but it is time for Pale Waves. Let's go! were insane. There is a reason why I'm seeing them three times this year. Seeing them today, uh, and then seeing them again at Reading, and then I booked to see their Brixton show. They were so good, so good. Definitely give them a listen. Like, go now, go, go on. You're still here, go. So I just got charged so little for a double cheeseburger and then paid £11.50 for this espresso martini. That is outrageous. It is mainly foam. I should have learned my lesson last time. But we are about to watch the Wombats. I think I know like one or two of their songs, but apparently they're amazing live. So I'm excited for this. were great. I knew two of their songs from the Inbetweeners. They were really good and the whole crowd loved them. And now it's nothing but thieves, but this is my last uh, performer as I need to dash as all of the trains are, are slowly being cancelled, which isn't ideal. And also I'm burning pretty bad. Someone was like, Sam, you're burning. Put some sun cream on. Can't even see, it's too overexposed.
community festival. If that is anything to go by, I will be back next year. That was sick. Um, nothing but thieves. Two Door Cinema Club, both not really bands that I want to see. So I'm gonna head down to my grandma's now because I am burnt and I'm just tired. And it was getting to the point where like, during the Wombats and Nothing But Thieves, that you couldn't move. And I just had to leave like 20 minutes early to get out of the crowd, which is not a nice experience at all. It's so funny, from the train station, you can actually see those white tents just there are, uh, are actually the entrance to the festival. I can hear it loud as day, clear as day as well. Um, so actually I've just been enjoying it from the platform and it's a lovely evening as well with the uh, golden hour behind me which has been a bit lush. Kind of lucked out on today. Today I was like, oh, I'll go to a festival, I'll really enjoy it. Um, go and see Pale Waves, which is like the main reason why I was there and I'm so glad that they were on at the time when they were because it got so hot and so crowded and so claustrophobic. But when I left, I wasn't the only one to leave. There were like hundreds of people leaving at the same time. Because like as you got back, it was like all chilled. Like as you can see from some of my clips, I think I filmed from the back. Really chilled at the back. When you got to the front, it was like, especially for the wombats, it was like you couldn't move and there were people trying to get out and like panicking because they couldn't get out and it was so deep. But between Alfie Templeman, Pale Waves, Nothing But Thieves, The Wombats, I loved all of them. Um, definitely highlight is Pale Waves, because I love Pale Waves, just I love them. Can you tell yet how much I love Pale Waves? So the reason that I love Pale Waves so much, firstly, I just love their music, I think it's awesome. And it's a little bit rocky, a little bit dark, it's really cool. Um, but also, I found them because my mate Ed, who was in the Legally Blonde video, who lives over in Canada, fancies the lead singer and we were off to see the 1975 at uh, the O2 and he was like I need to be there I need to see this band and I heard like two of the songs and I was like you know what this is a really cool band anyway I then started listening to them every day all day loved their music learned it all then I booked tickets for Ed to go to Kentish Town Forum to watch them he went off to Canada so Alec and I went to see them in a really small venue and then I recently saw them at the Roundhouse and then I'm seeing them at Brixton so it's nice to see their growth slowly growing but this new album couldn't come sooner. already had to jump over two piles of sick uh, and then someone dropped some McDonald's right in front of my feet so I've got milkshake on my shoes which is probably going to be my next single for uh, Factor 50 is a uh, milkshake on my shoes I don't know why the milkshake is there I prefer if there wasn't milkshake on my shoes but I'm gonna jump in a cab and get home because I'm now flagging now that it's got colder uh, I was absolutely fun in the heat, just warm. Uh, now I'm wearing a pair of shorts and I'm dressed for factor 40, I guess. So to end my vlog, I'm actually going to end it on Sunday afternoon. Basically, I came down here, put all of my electronics down, had a really lovely evening and just didn't end up picking them back up to end the vlog. But what a day it was yesterday. I'm still buzzing from pale waves. Like, I've been listening to them the whole way back yesterday all day today. I'm so excited for their Brixton gig. I got given tickets for my birthday and I am so excited. So excited. Um, but yeah, today has just been a really chilled one and uh, I will get this vlog edited for tomorrow. Um, and then we will get back to the craziness that is the weekly vlogs because it is so warm this week. There is gonna be a lot of inside kind of fun, unusual content coming up. But as always, thank you all for coming on these adventures and I'll see you later.